this show is the manliest anime anyone has ever seen. Maybe ever. At its peak, it ranked number two on Netflix's worldwide streaming charts, just behind The Witcher. What's this amazing anime, you ask? Well, it's kind of like JoJo, but less gay. Baki is another four-letter anime about buff dudes cooking up knuckle sandwiches. It goes like this. The most badass guys in the world get together in Japan for a battle royale. There's an assassin, a kung fu master, a caveman. So you know they're inclusive to my people. But the real story is about Baki, the poster child for teenage steroid abuse, whose one mission in life is to beat up his dad? We'll come back to this. The anime attacks you with cool action scenes. It's crazy. It's over the top. It's... Who told you you could put your pants back on? Huh? About time for round three. Right, pal? Uh, did I say less gay? The show isn't the most intellectually inclined, nor does it have an overly sophisticated plot. But I watched five episodes the other day, and I'm pretty sure I grew my first chess hair. It's like DBZ on meth. Best martial arts anime ever. Yeah, it's trash. But the good kind. 33 million hours watched. People like this anime so much, it ranked top 10 in over 80 countries. You heard me right. This anime, people. But it wasn't for everyone. Baki is fucking dumb. The characters are ugly. The plot is dog shit. Why don't you try reading the manga? Why don't you try grappling some hoes? Why is Baki so disturbing? Huh? Okay, I got a confession. Baki's not all sunshine and rainbows. I lied to hype you all up just to bring you back down again. It's called storytelling. All the YouTubers do it. Baki is real dumb fun, yes. But it's also... Kinda creepy. And it's not just the gore, it's not just the incestuous undertones that make your skin crawl. There's something else going on here, and it's hard to put your finger on what. In one episode, Baki's dad tells him to get laid so he can fight better. And in the next, he breaks into his son's home to watch. It gets weirder. Golden showers, cannibalism, incest. I'm not into incest. Uh, I, mean, I mean, besides the Pornhub kind. But the strangest thing by far is Baki's homoerotic obsession with beating up his old man. Everything Baki does. All his fighting, fucking, and whatever this is. All of this is just so he can get even with the asshole who killed his mom. And then this happens. I'll be the one to take care of you, dad. After all, I am your son. Nice. So yeah, it's weird. And I'm not the only one who thinks that. But despite everything I just said... Whoa. Why? Theory 1. People like the show because it's weird. Eh, I don't think so. Baki's good and all, but it ain't no Higurashi. When people talk about their favorite part of the anime, it's always about the badass fight scenes, not how weirdly homoerotic it felt watching two grown men kiss each other's faces off. Theory 2. People like the show despite it being weird. Now, this one makes a little more sense to me. The plot is sexy, the fights are entertaining, and who wouldn't want to watch a million-year-old caveman tear up and eat Earth's Mightiest Heroes? Are people just going along with the weird stuff because the show's hype as fuck? Maybe. But what if the weirdness was a part of something bigger? The show's main plot is about an orphaned kid who's forced to get stronger so he can one day defeat his evil dad. Hmm, where have we seen that before? Star Wars, Invincible, Avatar. We also see this trope used by a lot of big time film studios. And as we all know, that shit sells. For good reason too. These shows resonate with something deep within us. It's hard to explain. On one hand, most of us don't want to beat up our dads. But on the other, it makes perfect sense that big bad Darth Vader was Luke's old man all along. It just works. And that's theory number three. The overarching conflict between father and son resonates with us at a deep fundamental level. And Baki taps into this really well. I came for the mindless violence, but stayed for the plot. 
Will Baki defeat his father and become the strongest man in the world? Or will he forever be a little Chinese boy living in the shadow of his old man? This question demands our attention and forces us to care because all of us at some point or another will need to make this same journey. We need to break free from the benevolent holds of our fathers. We need to grow up and become our own people. We need to beat up our dads, metaphorically. And it doesn't matter if you're an intergalactic space cowboy traveling the cosmos with his pet raccoon, or this old fart living in his dad's tent from the Bible. This subconscious desire lives inside all of us. But why? It pains me to say this, but a lot of us are being held back psychologically in this modern age. There's so much comfort in the world that we've become soft. We have toys that never get old. We pay buckets of money to go to glorified daycare centers. Come on. You really expect me to believe horology is a real subject? What am I gonna do with that? Become a ho- Oh, it's, uh, clocks. My point still stands. We've been programmed to love comfort, and that's not necessarily a good thing. More young men today are struggling socially, financially, and sexually than ever before. Is it really because our reptilian government overlords are out to get us with expensive pieces of paper and insane mortgage rates? Or is it because we're too busy being glued to internet porn and video games to fight for the things we value? Probably both? But what the hell are you gonna do about the government? The only thing we can do, realistically, is beat up our fathers. That is to say, GROW THE HELL UP! No one could be a man unless his father has died. Sigmund Freud said that. But what did he mean? Instead of constantly looking up to someone or something to bail you out when the chips are down, rise to the occasion. Get stronger so you don't need to be protected anymore. Grow up by making your own decisions and taking on the uncertainties of the world. That's what the manliest anime on Netflix is trying to tell us. And if you don't like it, you can always go back to watching JoJo.